I think it's actually the worst possible outcome because it neither seriously cuts spending nor does it even address the desperate need for more revenue. The Republicans have been making a big deal all afternoon about the spending cuts, but $750 billion over 10 years, let me tell you, is a rounding error. It's one half of 1% of GDP when the deficit gap is 10%. So it doesn't even begin to address the problem. Furthermore, it's backloaded the spending cuts so far into the distant future that you can't even see them in the fog. It only cuts $25 billion in the next budget year, which is 2% of this huge $1.3 trillion deficit that we have. And most of the cuts, $500 billion, occur in 2017 and beyond, which is to say not only after the next election, but after the 216 election as well. So the question is, who are they trying to fool? This isn't real. This isn't spending cuts. And yet they stand there and say, we don't have to have revenue because we've cut spending when we haven't. On the other hand, I think the president folded like a lawn chair for the second time. He should be fighting for tax cuts since he doesn't believe in spending cuts of any magnitude. And yet, uh, he walked away and allowed uh, this travesty of a bill uh, to be passed. So it's just kick the can so time. You, so so we'll you be say back at this. It, so you yes. say it's the worst possible outcome, and you think uh, we're going to see this all over again in, in the near future. I'd like to go back in history a little bit and and compare some of the parallels from today and from the 1980s when you were budget director under Reagan in the early 80s. There are some similarities. Uh, back in the 80s, we had a deep recession. Unemployment was over 10 percent, and Reagan raised taxes reluctantly. Today, we've got unemployment at 9.2 percent in the U.S., very sluggish growth, and, and we got disappointing GDP numbers uh, last week in the U.S., but we don't have any tax hikes in the this bill. So are you saying that that's a huge mistake here? Yes, I think it is a terrible mistake. Uh, Ronald Reagan uh, was for tax cuts uh, more than any other American president we've had. But at the end of the day, he realized we can't run a credit card budget. We can't borrow our way to prosperity. And when we face this massive ballooning uh, deficit in 1982, notwithstanding the very recession economic conditions you described so well, he reluctantly went ahead. The tax increase was signed. It was the equivalent of $150 billion a year at the present time. And yet uh, he felt we had to do it because we had no choice. And that is totally different than the kind of Republican you have today. Today's Republicans are credit card Republicans. They're not Reagan Republicans. Uh, and their position is totally irresponsible. Uh, and it's really a shame that they try to rewrite and reinvent history uh, when the facts uh, speak so clearly as I think uh, we've outlined them here.